And Marcus and I live in the county. <laughs> yeah. We've seen our fair share of copperheads in yep. our backyard. My right. goodness, now they're just stocking up for the winter. Yeah, I keep my mouth shut. I don't say anything <laughs> to anybody else. Just move right along. Uh -huh, with those. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, you don't take care of business. Right, that's right. Just take care of business <laughs> and get and get it done. But yeah, you know what? Yeah, with the weather kind of going up and down. They're starting to show out a little bit more, yeah. but they have their purpose. And they do. some do. You, you know do. what? That's what we have to remember is that they have their purpose. Well, fall has its purpose too here in Texas. Texas, and we're going back to summer. Let me show you the high temperatures this afternoon. We had temperatures today climb on up into the mid and the upper 80s. Couple of spots got close to 90 degrees. This is where I really want to spend a lot of our focus here because the heat is about to take over. That means we savor another nice night tonight. Temperatures are down into the 50s. Some of us mid 50s to begin the day tomorrow. Really nice start once again. We have been very blessed with the nice mornings, even some areas in the lower 50s a bit earlier this week. Now for tomorrow, we do look for temperatures to rise a bit more into the afternoon. If you got to get out and maybe do some gardening in the backyard, 9 a.m., 70 degrees. Of course, your best time is probably in the morning as we get into the afternoon, maybe a little bit on the warm side, mid to the upper 80s. We're on our way to near 90 for the high temperature for your Thursday. Here's who I have reaching 90. 91 Canton, same for Mineola. 89 Henderson, Jacksonville, Crockett, Lufkin around 90. Jefferson at about 90. 87 Gilmer and Mount Pleasant at about 89 degrees. The key for tomorrow is the humidity is low. You notice those red arrows, they are moving in from the southwest. We're not expecting the return of Gulf moisture to move in for tomorrow, but over the next several days, we will see the humidity gradually intensify. Watch what happens. The ridge of high pressure is going to begin to move in. This is Friday evening, keeps us dry, but once the high really sets up going into Saturday, hotter temperatures. I think Saturday we could easily make a run at 93 to maybe 95 degrees on Saturday afternoon. Then the ridge breaks down. That allows for a disturbance to move in, and it brings a chance for some thunderstorms. Some of those could be gusty, but it doesn't look like we'll get widespread rain. And then another storm system may bring some rain chances for us on Wednesday. But this ridge is just too strong to really to really get us from any get, seeing any major precipitation. We'll have to keep an eye out for it. But on Sunday, we are monitoring the risk for the possibility of a few strong storms, mainly in Oklahoma. Some of those could work their way south of the Red River toward Interstate 30 toward I-20. We'll have to watch for that. That will be overnight Sunday into Monday. Essentially, we're not looking at a lot of rain and it's not widespread over the next seven to even the next 10 days. So what you see here is the late summer feel. It's going to be humid, especially starting Saturday heading into next week. Next story is crazy.